Well, hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Hopefully you can uh, hear me. I can't hear myself with these stupid earplugs in my ear. Um, <laughs> this is, of course, me, Mark, and with MBL Entertainment. And we, we have a very, very cool and exciting uh, uh, show for you guys. So I'm hoping that you guys can uh, uh, take a look. It looks like I'm streaming at the wrong Facebook address. So my my apologies on that. I'm sorry, I'm streaming on the wrong YouTube address. So uh, don't worry about that. You can still interact with us. No problem whatsoever. Um, my name is Mark B. Lee. For those that are uh, uh, meeting me for the very first time, and uh, I have a very uh, convoluted background, so I'm not going to get much into that. But I will be your host tonight for something that I think is going to be absolutely fabulous. If you have never in your life seen these guys before, well, you're going to see them live. I got uh, uh, an intro that I should play for you right now. Um, their name are the Edward twins, Anthony and Eddie. And uh, I think you ought to watch this short clip first. Let me get this all geared up for you. I, I didn't have it prepared, but I think you ought to watch this just to get an idea of how incredible these folks are. So about a minute and a half worth. Take a look at this. I love these guys so much. I don't even know how to begin this broadcast. I'm so for blitz. For blitz. Somebody going to have to teach me the Jewish word for that. Uh, for blitz, for blitz, uh, whatever. But um, Eddie and Anthony, how are you? Or maybe I ought to unmute you first so you can talk. I love the power of shutting people down. <laughs> It's good to see you. It, we, oh my love you. God. we love you, Mark. Let we me tell you something. It's great to be with the legend, Mr. Mark Lee. Yes. Oh, I, I, we love I, you we, so we much. You. You, have, you have interviewed every major celebrity in the world. Why the hell you would want to be able to interview us is beyond me. But it's an honor to be here. <laughs> last, time, last, time we, last time we saw you was with a very intimate dinner. It was you and me maybe three other people with Malcolm McDowell in Montreal, Canada. Oh, you, were, you were performing or you were uh, uh, doing your thing. We were at the St. Denny Theater and the memories. I mean, the people that you introduced us to, Patrick Stewart, uh, oh my God, <laughs> uh, uh, Brent Spiner, uh, uh, you know, I mean, I can go on and on and on. The, uh, it was just such a fantastic I, evening. You, you obviously has never seen a black man blush before. I mean, you gotta stop. <laughs> You really have to stop this right now. This is just getting absolutely uh, ridiculous. There are people that are sending accolades already because they hear that you're, they know that you're here uh, on the broadcast. Um, I, I haven't even started. If you guys don't know who these gentlemen are, they're world, I repeat, world famous. 
master impersonators. They've been everywhere. They were on the Today Show. As you can see the banner that I have uh, right right now, people that have covered them, the, 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 the professional press, <laughs> I'm nobody. And, and they just love these guys just as much as I've loved them. Uh, I've seen their performances, but they're just great guys. I mean, when they're not dressed up as other men and, and women, um, <laughs> You know, they're just great guys. My biggest problem is when you guys are performing a share of better, whatever, I got to stop looking at your cleavage because I know you don't have any. <laughs> you know? so, you, you have none. You have none. Mark, everything <laughs> everything has been tucked away for your viewing pleasure. Oh, thank God. Because that, <laughs> that, that chair bit, when I first saw you do share, I, I'm, I'm sitting here going, well, wait a minute. That's going right off the butt. I mean, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if, if impersonating somewhere. <laughs> well, you know, impersonating people are fine, but you don't have to impersonate everything. <laughs> God in heaven. It's true. It's true. We literally, we literally go beyond every method that we need to do to make sure that the illusion is complete. Yes. <laughs> oh, and, and 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 the illusion just just gives me nightmares. I mean, I, I mean, what kind of uh, what kind of parents do you want to be if you're going to just go ahead and, and <laughs> let, destroy let, mine? Let, listen, you know, when, when, when we were doing this, you know, at a, a very early age, God bless our father, you know, he didn't know how to accept it. So he was an alcoholic for years, oh, you know, wow. trying to, yeah. to, to, to deal with it. Because again, you know, back then it wasn't accepted, you know, I mean, to have a father, you know, uh, you know, see his boys dress up as women and all this stuff, you know, that would probably drive me to drink if I had a son like that as well. Yeah, I, I am sure. My God, New York's got talent wants to say hello to you. So, um, oh, uh, it's good you. That's yes, Cooper that's, Jordan. That's Cooper Jordan. Cooper we Jordan Cooper. is the best. Listen, oh. Cooper, yeah. Cooper books us all over the world. This wow. guy is a top producer in New York. Uh, and yes, we love Cooper. Hello, Cooper. We hello. love you, Cooper. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> These guys are the best. I mean, I, they're so jovial. They're, I've never seen them depressed in my entire life. I've never seen them uh, put on a bad show. Uh, they're, they're, they have such energy, uh, and, and they're brothers, and they love each other, and I love them too. They just have so many friends, and they've been over the freaking world. My God, I got a list of things to talk about. But well, I'm let's get into it. Yes, let's and get listen, into it. And we have things we want to <laughs> talk to you. Some will be good. Uh, there is one topic that may be a bit controversial, but I we're, we're going to get to that. That was my point to get to that at some point. Don't talk about it yet. Okay, no, okay, I because I will be bringing that up. Okay, okay. Great. Uh, but I'm interested in, in all, by the way, how old is this photo right here? Uh, oh, my God. That's probably about maybe, oh, my God. That's got to be 15 years old. 15, 15 years? years old, I think. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I love it. I mean, listen, maybe even 20. Okay. All right. Now you're dating yourself. Yeah. yeah. But, but, boy, I'll tell you something. We look fabulous. <laughs> you, you, were, you were 12 years old. You both were 12 years old. I can tell. We were nope. 12. That's right. You know, you, know, you know how I know you don't have hair anywhere but the top of your head. So right. I know you that's got it. That's true. You're that's right. it. You're right. And we barely have it now. <laughs> and well, <laughs> you got for professional and, reasons, I'm sure. Yeah. And it's growing in places that we don't want it to grow. Well, now we got too much information. Okay. So, you know, uh, you know no pictures is a lie. Okay. So, all right. Do you know who this guy is? It's Bob Lawson, he's saying hello. Oh my God! Hi, Bob. How are you? Oh, Bob. Yes. Of course we know Bob. Of course we know Bob. Oh Bob, my! I think is a world-renowned entertainer, isn't yeah. he? Yes, yeah, I believe so. Bob is. Yeah, wow. yeah. I, Bob, I gotta, Bob, I gotta... Bob is. Oh my God! Bob is all over the world. He does as many shows as we do, and he is world renowned everywhere. If it, it's, no. it's the same, no, oh, no, okay, it's a different Bob. It, it's it, it, I know who you are, Bob. We love you, Bob. Okay, okay. He was actually talking about uh, another Bob who is a famous impersonator who's amazing. But yeah, anyways, yeah, yeah. yes, but we All love right. you, Bob. We love okay. you, Bob. You, they got they got my hopes up about you. So <laughs> now that we know you're a nobody, okay. Just, <laughs> It's okay. If, you, if you're a friend of the Edwards, then, you know, everyone else knows you too. So but welcome, to us, Bob. But to us, you know what? Everybody is a star. Yes. yes. Everybody. Let me get that emblem off the top of your head. Let me let me drop your uh, your face here for a minute. Great, get your, great. Sure. Get your position. Yeah, yeah, like that. perfect. Ah, that's perfect. Like that? You like that? That looks a little yeah, better, should, right? I do have hair. I do have hair. It's well, there. yeah. Yeah, I, I'm glad. That was where we were talking about previously because I was getting nervous. <laughs> um, oh, Bob. Bob says, 
He's a mentalist. He's a mentalist. mentalist. That's what I told you. <laughs> yeah. so, he's world renowned. He's world renowned. He's, I knew it. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So, yeah, so, I, so, I was thinking that it was a different Bob, but yeah. no, no, he's world okay. renowned. Okay. He's one Bob. of the best mentalists in the world. In, in well, the world. Bob, we, we, we now discover that you are somebody. Yeah, okay? yeah. But yeah. if you were any good at what you do, you would have known what we meant. Okay. <laughs> we shouldn't have to play that. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but Bob, uh, you know, uh, I want to see one of your shows, buddy. See if you're legit. Yes, okay. So. Yes. <laughs> you yes, guys yes. look fabulous. I just can't get enough of you. Where Thank are you? you? Thank Where you. Where are you now? Because every time I'm I'm talking to you via either text or yeah. Facebook or whatever, you're in some city or some yeah. country. Where yeah, are you we're now? We're, so we're, we're in Rhode Island now. We're at, uh, at our home in Rhode Island. We usually like to be able to be in Rhode Island when we're doing the East Coast because Providence, Rhode Island is actually very close to everywhere. Basically, it's close to New York. It's close to New Hampshire. It's close to Canada. Canada. It's close. It's yes. kind of like century, central lo lo located yeah. so that we're only about probably four or five hours away from everything. Yeah, from Atlantic City. We, we, we were just in uh, the Jersey Shore. Uh, we performed two so so sold out shows, and last then, night, uh, was show, that last night, was uh, that actually a uh, couple weeks ago, couple weeks ago. Oh, and, then, okay. uh, and, and then we're going to be uh, in uh, Westerly, uh, Rhode Island. Uh, I think next week uh, we're doing a drive-in theater. Yes. Can, can you believe that? Can you believe a drive-in yes, theater? Drive theater. You, you yeah. got to change with the time. Yes, so exactly. we're doing right. a drive-in theater. Yes. Oh that? my god! Yeah. That, <laughs> it, it, uh, the thing is, we open up for the movie Jaws. <laughs> I, 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 I think you need a bigger theater. <laughs> that was me. That was me. I did that. I said that. I, I love I, that. I, I love that. that up all by myself. That's, that, that, Bob, that's you that's ain't that. nothing, Bob. You ain't nothing. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and he also just said here, uh, I used to be somebody. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're gonna have to put that guy. Into he's underestimating himself. He's he's he's, he's, he's brilliant. He's, he's brilliant. brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Hey, oh, good to hear. Good to hear. Uh, Suzanne says hello when she says. We love Suzanne. Oh my God. Suzanne yes. is a huge Trekkie, as you yeah, know. Yeah, he is. Yes, yes. Yes. We love uh, her. Yeah. We love remember, her. remember when I was doing the uh, the uh, the auctions for uh, yes, for yes. Gary and with, whatever. That's right. Yeah. With, with, with Gary. Gary. We, Gary. we, we yes. love Gary. I invited Gary. Gary, it's, I'm sorry, but I don't do Facebook, but I own the stock. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys, one of you guys uh, just have dinner with him a couple weeks ago? Yes, or, um, yes, 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 we did. Yes, yes we did. Yeah. 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 It, it, right told. before all the madness happens. Yes. Yes. Happens, yeah. Because yeah. now he doesn't, he doesn't leave his house. Yeah. Well, I, I, neither do I. Now, I'm just work home. Now, luckily, I'm an essential employee, so I never lost work. Okay, I've oh, been that's great. Life. Good for and, you. And I don't know where all this money is coming from, but I, I am designing more homes than I could shake a stick at. It oh, is God. unbelievable. I oh, tell God. people now, wow. if, Good for you, Mark. That's if, you, if you want my services, I'm at least eight weeks out before oh, I can even oh, have okay. a I love it. Oh, my God. Eight. Mark, congratulations. Congratulations. That is great. Well, we have, wood. Yeah. wood. Okay. We, have, I mean, we, have, we have many homes. So yeah. who knows? We may we may call you. Oh, you let me know. You should be rich by now. So I don't know what the hell you're waiting for. <laughs> Listen, we're, we're not as rich as Brent Spiner, but pretty close. You know, when when we were in Montreal we, with you, yeah. we picked him up at the uh, airport, and uh, and oh. was, yes, and it was just Gary, him, and I, and, oh, uh, and, yeah. and him and him and I and Eddie, and he said. You, you know, because uh, he knows us. He said, you guys must be rich. I said, yeah. I said, uh, I said, but we're not like you, uh, Brent. We're not filthy rich. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw Brent along with um, Marina and uh, Beverly Crusher, LeVar, because yes. I, was the, I was the only fan. I was the only fan invited to Patrick Stewart's. We, 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 we saw, saw that. We yeah. saw that. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God! A matter of fact, our very dear friend Michael Westmore was yeah. there as well. Yeah. 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 I'll tell you, we yeah. love, we oh love Michael. We, we love, love Michael. Michael. He's, yeah, he's yeah. Like our, our best, yeah. best friend in the yeah. world. Exactly. You love everybody, so yeah, I mean, we, do. Yeah. we do. But, but I, need to, I need to get on your, I need to get on your pissed off list so I feel special. <laughs> 
uh, Mark, this is a, this is a, this is also a very interesting story. In that same conversation with Brent, I told Brent, I said, Brent, and I, I don't know if he remembers this. I said, Brent, I said, why don't you have Michael or someone dress you up as Data for some of these, um, you know, uh, uh, conventions? And he said to me, he said, please. He said, I will never ever get into uh, Data makeup again. I said, I don't believe that. And then you have Picard. Yes, and look what happened. You know, yeah, somebody, exactly. up, you know, yeah. in, 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 in the series. My God, I haven't even gotten to my damn list yet. I you know. know. All right. Reveling you you, shut up. you ask the yes. questions. Yes. Uh, oh, uh, oh, okay. Ask the question. All right. So, <laughs> I feel so stupid. Uh, <laughs> I like to let my audience know that this is an interactive uh, program here. So, you can, in fact, come into the chat room, okay, into the uh, the room here, and you can type a question. If you have any questions whatsoever for the, for the Edward, Edward, Edwards twins, I'll be glad to relay them, put them up on the screen or whatever. So ask away. Uh, another thing I like to ask is if you're on Facebook, if you could start your watch parties right now, I'd appreciate it because what that does, that winds the audience. So if you guys can start a watch party for this. Uh, hey, Joe, I see Joe. Joe's, Joe, what time is I have My friend from Australia is watching the show right now. Wow, hi, Australia. It's, got to be eight o'clock in the morning, I think, in Australia. I'm not Coffee. sure. Coffee with the Edwards twins. Nothing better. <laughs> my, my good buddy Alex is, is watching. There's a bunch of people that are watching. So many people watching right now. Um, let me ask you a question. Is this is this Carol Burnett? Yes, Carol Burnett. Yes. yes. Carol Burnett. We were in West West Palm Beach. Uh, okay. We were front row. Uh, we were her guests. And the thing is, is uh, and she introduced us to the entire uh, Kravitz Center. It, it was like something like 5,000 people. And uh, we had such a wonderful reunion w with her. And oh my God, it was, and that I think was probably one of the last times that we saw her. Yeah. Wow. Okay, we have people from Germany watching. Heike here. Yes, says it's two in the fact, I, know, I know this woman. She actually, yeah. did she come with you to the show? Yes, she did. <laughs> she did. I remember. I remember. Yes, yes, I do. I remember that. Oh my God, this is this is crazy. It's like an old old home. Uh, yeah, or something. But, that was uh, a great night. That, that was a great night. A great night. That was a great night. A great show uh, as usual. So, uh, okay, let's start from the beginning here. Uh, at what time in your life, okay, age wise, did you guys decide you literally wanted to work together? Oh my gosh. Well. Believe it or not, it didn't come until later in, in life. Late, late, later, later in life. Now, you have to realize, when we were young kids, we did everything together. Uh, yeah. we would, we would, when we performed, what we grew up in Burbank, California, right down the street from NBC Studios, and we would sure. hang out at NBC Studios, we would hang out at CBS Studios, all that, uh, because our Uncle Jack worked on, he was the announcer for the Sonny and Cher show. And one of the recurring actors. And one of the recurring would, actors. Would be in the sketch. Gotcha. Yeah, in the sketch. So we hung up. So basically what we would do is we would basically watch sketches of the Carol Burnett show, Sonny and Cher, all that stuff on TV. And then we would react, react them for all of our neighbors uh, and some of the neighbors were the actual writers for the Carol Burnett show. Yeah. Oh my God. And did, we did, were did. probably six, maybe six. Yeah. And it wasn't until Carol Burnett came to see me in Toronto. Uh, and then uh, two weeks later went to go see Eddie, convinced Eddie that we should get an act together. And finally Eddie said yes. And the rest is history. So it was Carol Burnett that's yeah. basically responsible. Yes. Carol Burnett was the one who actually got us started. She yeah. was the one that gave us the idea. Yeah. Because I I had my own career. I was traveling all over the world with yeah. Lacage. Right. Okay. Oh man, yeah. I love I love that play. I love the movie. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's fantastic. Okay. So you said, uh, Anthony? No, Eddie. You said you were six. Yeah. Yes. When you were performing for your yeah. neighbors. You were six years old when you were performing. Yes. So that's basically a time when you knew you wanted to be a performer when you were six years yes. old. Yes. That is unbelievable. Okay. So what was your first, uh, what was your first paid gig? Oh my Let's God. Together or separate? Oh, that's interesting. Go together. Oh, okay. you're, you're, Probably yeah. our, our first paid gig was when we, uh, when we uh, left our mother to go live with our father in Tucson, we 
uh, got together a singing, te- a professional singing telegram ser- service. Uh, okay. When we were in high school, we made a boatload of money. And what we would do is, um, is, uh, uh, is we would sing uh, singing telegrams to celebrities. Michael Landon, Linda Lavin, uh, all the big stars, Tony, Tony, Tony Danza, Danza, all the big stars of the seventies would come to Tucson to shoot uh, either Old Tucson or, uh, or or they would do celebrity tennis, t- tennis, and, and we would be there, and we would basically go and we would sing telegrams to them, um, and they just thought we were so cute because we were you know twins yeah. and we were young and. Yeah cute and you right. know all this stuff and they just absolutely loved us yeah and, and we made we made a lot, a lot of, money of money doing a lot that. of money wow so but how do you how do you, who who assigned you your work uh I, agents a, agents, a, agents would really call us and uh yeah one particular agent called fossey uh that was in in uh in tucson she was the main agent there and when she knew a, a celebrity was coming we would always end up going there uh, and to d- deliver, uh, you know, a, a singing telegram to them. That that is unbelievable. That, that's fantastic. So, and you were making a lot of money uh, then. So, obviously, you've traveled all over the world right now. Do you remember the countries you've been to so far? Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. We can have. I, well, I can name them. I believe um, Aruba, uh, China, uh, Japan. Uh, Japan uh, uh, let's see here. Um, Singapore, Singapore, um, Canada, Canada. God, I'm missing oh, uh, a bunch. Co- uh, Colombia, Colombia. Um, um, let's see here. Uh, uh, Mexico, me- me- Mexico. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Mexico. My God, Cancun. But there's probably a lot more. But yeah. that's that's at least. Uh, I, I know I'm missing like a and bunch. and Mark. I can't remember. Uh, yeah. On uh, September the sixth, uh, people can go to our our website. We are doing our first pay-per-view uh, 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 show, which is live in Singapore with eight international dancers. And when I tell you, it was a 25-camera shoot. Okay, now at that time, uh, the thing is, they were doing it in 6K, which is not even in the United States. Yes, no and, such thing. Yeah, and 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 uh, when I tell you, the cinema for photography, the camera work. It's phenomenal, and it's a pay-per-view event that's going to start September the sixth. It's the that's biggest it. show we have ever done ever in done. our lives. Yes. What's the name? What's the uh, name? It's called the Edwards Twins Live in Singapore, and they can go to the edwardstwins.com to get the uh, link. It's very inexpensive. It's like fourteen ninety nine yeah. for one view, and if you want to own it, it's twenty four ninety nine. Now You're they right. paid about a hundred dollars per ticket to actually see the show. Yes. And so fourteen dollars wow. is yeah. like. Yeah, and no, and it was in the nothing. same theater that uh, I believe uh, Kim Jong Un and Trump uh, was there when they had their big thing right by Universal Studios. So the theater is beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's huge, wow. like well, five, five five thousand people. Well, how did you get associated with that gig? Was that your um, agent as well? Uh, well, yeah, our very good friend that brought us into uh, Singapore year, years ago um, had a, a very wealthy businessman that wanted to uh, bring the, the show in, and that's how it all happened. Wow, I got a message for you. Stand by. Okay. Tucson misses you. These gentlemen have always been great human beings and wonderfully talented. Wonderfully, ta- so we'll say that fast three times. Wonderfully talented. <laughs> oh my God. Let me, we, 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 we love, love Tucson because we yeah. actually grew up in, yes. in Tucson. Yes. We went to Rincon High School, so we're kind of local boys. You yeah. know. Well, this, is, this is Tucson Elvis. Yes, Tucson Elvis. Yes, absolutely, uh, they have some amazing talent in yes. Tucson. Oh I'll God. tell you. Yes, I'm, yes, I'm amazing. Yes. We work wow. at the Gaslight Theater, usually in Oro Valley, which is uh, a suburb of uh, Tucson, and the Fox Theater, and, and the Fox Theater, and we sell out usually like probably seven shows. Yeah, uh, seven, when seven, when we're there. Yep. Exactly, and we and Tucson is so close to our heart. Mm-hmm. We we love everybody. A matter of fact, Barbara Eden and us were supposed to open up in November. It was all planned. She was joining our show for about five shows. Because she's from Tucson. She's, she's, she was born in, in Tucson. Yep, it was all set. It was re- ready to go. And then because of COVID, she uh, unfortunately can't cancel, you know, because she's uh, 89 years old. Yeah, she actually came to a Dragon Con one year. Oh, oh okay. she yeah. did, okay, exactly. wow. It was, it was her and um, JR. 
They are, oh, right sure. Now. Larry Hack. Larry well, Hack. Actually, actually, it was the three of them. And, and Robert Arthur, Daly or something Daly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Don, Daly. Don Daly. No, I think it's Don Daly. I'm okay. not sure. Okay. But anyway, she, she produced her own little bottles. Yeah. She autographed them and sold them all. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. I have one. Yeah. That's uh, that's. Ah. Our, 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 <laughs> yes. Yeah. Our, I, I have one that's in t- that's signed by her, uh, uh, Larry Hagman, and Tim Haley. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That, that's unbelievable. Okay. So, uh, next question that I have, and, and, and like I said, if anyone has a question, go ahead and pop it up on the screen. We'll go ahead and present them to the boys and have them, uh, uh, you know, give you an answer. Um, I know Celine Dion is your newest creation. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Okay. Right. No, no, it's not. Well, no, it's, it's not. not. It's it's not brand new, but it's it's newer than a lot of my other celebrities. Yes. So you're saying there's others that you have just? Yes. Yes. There's two others. There's Can you name them now or or, or not? Yeah. 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 Who are yeah. you? Dolly, Dolly Parton. Oh is my god. My, is my oh, very wow. very newest one. Who, okay. And then. Or okay. Anthony. Dolly and then I'm also working on a Libby Newton John. Oh, yeah. Wow. Because wow. I just want to get physical. Yeah. <laughs> Screw that. It's the Dolly one I'm interested in. Uh, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm just wondering the prosthetics that you had to use to get that right. Oh, my God. When I tell you, a, lot, so a lot of rubber, a lot of plastic. Yeah. <laughs> well, aren't they all? On the face. <laughs> Oh my God, that's unbelievable. Um, okay, so <coughs> the re- excuse me, it's not COVID. Um, uh, <laughs> the reason I ask you these questions, of course, is because to see what your newest is. I'm asking now. Okay, what is your favorite, Anthony? I'll ask you first. Who is your favorite character to perform? Well, oh, whoa, 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 two part. Who's your favorite character to get dressed up as? And who is your favorite character to perform? Because it might not be the same for... Right. Might not be both for the same. Okay. So um, probably right now, because I'm doing I'm doing a segment where I do him from all three generations, it would have to be Elton John. Because wow. I do him in the 70s, the yeah. 80s, and the way he looks today, all in 15 minutes. It brings, oh my God. it brings the house down every night. And then my second one would definitely be because people love it so much is Andrea Bocelli. Oh, wow. Do you have someone assist you when you come out on stage? Yes. Oh, ab- yeah, absolutely. Of course. Absolutely. That's, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah it'd be kind of weird if you were yeah. Trey, Andrea, and you walk yeah. out on your own. Andrea <laughs> doesn't walk on stage by himself. <laughs> yes. I, I hope not. That would be disastrous. <laughs> okay. So... Andrea and uh, you said Elton John. That that will be for you, Eddie. So uh, Anthony. Anthony. Yeah. Uh, for me, um, I you know honestly, out of all of the ones that I do, Barbara Streisand is my absolute favorite. Just I like Barbara. I think I think I resemble Barbara more than all my other characters. Uh, that's just me. Different people will say, "Oh no, you you're definitely a much better share." Blah blah blah, all this stuff. But I think Barbara. Barbara is actually what I'm known for, and I've been doing Barbara the longest. Barbara was my very first character that I have uh, ever ever done. Um, and um, you know, I, listen, I really love all of my characters. There's not one sure. that I you know. Uh, but I, I Barbara just seems to me. I feel her more than anyone else I do because I just feel like, you know, that I really do her justice. And um, I know by what I understand, a lot of the people that work for her that I've talked to had said that she really likes what it is I do. So not nice. not, not to mention he was handpicked by uh, Michael Douglas and um, and Chuck Lorre Chuck Lorre for the Kaminsky method the, on uh, on on Netflix, Netflix to do you, I, I, I think you told me this uh, yeah. when it was going on. I think you told me about this. Yeah, they tried to get Streisand. Streisand wouldn't do it, and so they got me, which was amazing. I mean, I was and, like, and, and the story is is quite amazing. We were performing at Michael Feinstein's place in Studio City, uh, which is uh, now uh, Feinstein's at uh, Vitello's. And one of the, uh, and it's, and it's a place where all the celebrities, I mean, every night, 
everybody from Blake Sheldon to Gwen Stefani, they're all there. And they were having, uh, uh, and, uh, you know, and some celebrities have dinner. And we were upstairs performing. And uh, so what, what happened was, is that they went ahead and they, uh, a, the casting director came in and said, what is going on? What, I've never seen this place so busy. And the waiter said, oh, well, uh, it's the Edwards twins. He's like, who, who are the Edwards twins? He said, well, they're a pair of identical twin brothers that look and sound like famous people. He's like, well, well who? He's like, well, Barbara Streisand. Or he said, what? 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 Barbara I'm looking for a, a Barbara <laughs> and, and from that, the rest is, is history. Yeah, of course, you're not char charging the same fees as Barbara Streisand. No, charge, no, but I'm sure. <laughs> but, but, I'm sure there. Something uh -huh. he made a he made quite. I made a killing on he, that. He made a killing <laughs> on it. Really? Barbara, oh, wow. If Barbara only knew what I got paid, she probably would have done it. <laughs> <laughs> That's unbelievable. What What is Tucson Elvis is saying? I went to Rincon too. Oh, oh he what, went to Rincon too. What, 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 wow! What, oh my God, that's amazing. Great. You see, yeah. well. All the talent comes from Rincon. Well, Rincon. Oh, you know, we had the opportunity, Mark, to go back to Rincon a couple years ago and do a show there with all of the kids there from the drama department, from the uh, choir, the band, and uh, we all did did a thing. We were sold out, and we raised a ton ton of money for uh, for Rincon. Wow. Well, as we're talking so much about you, but I'm sure people are watching this for the first time have no idea uh, what you do or how you do it. So let's give them a little bit of a taste. Okay. okay. all the time and the reason why is that we have to be able to make sure that what we're doing is working yeah sure. you know, uh sure. you know a lot of people don't like to watch themselves i had a really hard time for a while but you know in in our business we take the show a lot because we have to be able to look at it and see what's working what isn't working um etc so we have to watch yourself all the time yeah wow that that's incredible once again guys we're talking to uh the Edward twin, the Edwards twins here. I, I'm still trying to fathom how long I've known these guys, but uh, it's, it's been a an incredible. Oh, I mean, Anthony and I mean, they call you Tony, Anthony. Do they, they say Anthony more than Tony or Tony? Yeah, 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 yeah. They say Anthony more than. They, they say Anthony more than they, they, yeah. they say Tony. Okay, yeah. well, um, these guys, the, the, their career is is world renowned. They've been everywhere, as the, as the, you heard from their list of uh, places that they've been. Let me ask you. Okay, let's go ahead and let's see what time it is. It's halfway through the hour because I didn't know how long this question was going to take or the answer to the question. Let me put my face up here. Okay. First off, let me say, and I want to drop that video. Make sure that we're all here. I want to drop this one too. Uh, we're getting to a little bit of seriousness here. So yep. um, let me put my two cents in first. Okay. Uh, I'm sure the audience is going to know what I'm talking about if they don't already know what I'm talking about. And I, I as an African American, I have a problem with blackface. Yes. Okay. I have a problem with blackface. Yes. Okay. What you do on stage and the characters that you portray, I do not consider blackface at yes. all. In fact, I didn't even think about it until all this stuff started to happen. Yes. So you have obviously a defender in me, you know, uh, uh, and coming to that. But I also know that uh, 
theater owners, business owners, they, they, they have a responsibility to uphold. Yes. And they're basically looking out for their business more so than they are for you. Um, so what I think is the depressing part is that, let's uh, do this. Whoops, let me go back because this kind of portrays. These, particularly these two characters that we see here on the screen, I do not portray these characters that you're, that you're doing right now as blackface. I characterize them as being authentic. I would not want to see a white Rachel. Definitely don't want to see a white Stevie Wonder because that just wouldn't work. Right. Simple. It's not convincing. Yes. It's simply not convincing to me. Yes. Okay. Um, it, because of the sensitivity of our society, the way our society has become oversensitized, yes. um, it, it's, it's, we have always been a lawsuit crazy country, yes. okay? So theater owners and, and people who hire you are looking at the liability side of some of your portrayals. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't even gotten to the question yet, but I will. There is a yep. question in this. Yes. Uh, but I'm just putting my two cents to the fact that you do and did not offend me at all not one iota not one i don't even know what to say but you didn't offend me at all with your portrayals of two performers i happen to love dearly yes you you, you reminded me of those two performers you brought me back to uh, uh the um, performances of those two performers having never seen either one of them live yes. to be honest with you and this is the closest that i can get for anyone even from my race to come forward and say to you, and I don't know if this is true because I haven't gotten to that part yet, to say to you that you can't do that, I think they're totally wrong. Blackface was to ridicule my people. Yes. Okay. It was put on in a performance to ridicule my people. Yes. Okay. So I'm definitely going to take, you know, harm to that. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to take offense to that. Uh, you are far from that. You're in a whole nother category, in a whole nother stratosphere. You're nowhere near a fence. And the problem is people that don't know you, okay? Because they don't know if you're doing this on purpose. If, if they saw your performances as these characters, they'll realize, well, you're not ridiculing the characters. You're not ridiculing black people at all. You're, you're performing and, and I appreciate that. So here comes the question. Okay. Have you been told to cease and desist? And if so, what was your answer to anyone telling you that okay so the thing is is uh, uh and and again as, as you know mark we could spend an hour on this topic but yes i, I agree will, i will just focus on uh i'll just fo focus on what you had asked uh the uh naacp in uh, per, per, uh, uh particularly in um uh, and this is what what confused me in rhode island uh told me to cease and desist uh, and um, uh, and it was a huge topic here, and literally, and you know whether it's wrong or right, the uh, Providence community went through the roof and literally um, let this uh, gentleman uh, have it uh, because they said uh, that it wasn't blackface and blah blah blah. Then uh, a bi a big story was done on us in Louisiana, and uh, the NAACP there. Uh, the woman said, this is not blackface at, at all. This is entertainment. It's done respectively. And so I was confused. You know, I, one branch of the NAACP telling me cease and desist. The other one telling me, no, you, uh, we love it. Uh, th this is not bl blackface. So I had to come to a conclusion on what I wanted to do. First of all, I love people. I, I respect everything. The last thing that I want is to offend anybody. Now you have to uh, understand, uh, I met Lionel Richie. When he uh, saw a picture of me, he invited his entire crew uh, to, to come. He, brought, he took a picture of me and, and congratulated me and just said, you are the epitome of me. And so, uh, as well as Stevie Wonder's people when we met him, so, I, so they were all on board with it. But I had to come to a conclusion on uh, offending people. So what I decided to do, and it and it took a long time because my lawyers and all my fans said, don't do it, continue to do 
uh, Stevie Wonder and um, uh, Ray Charles and uh, Lionel Richie. I stopped doing it. I stopped doing it and I will not do it again because the thing is, is I love everybody. And so what I did is I hired a very good friend of mine that worked for um, uh, Jim Henson. And uh, we are now doing uh, Stevie Wonder, uh, Lionel Richie, Tina Turner, um, and those characters as Muppets. So what I'm doing is I'm doing puppetry uh, instead, which people are loving. And the thing is, and people have congratulated me for uh, being so cre creative. Well, that's very interesting. I agree. That is very uh, creative. Unfortunately, it's a consolation. Um, we know that, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, it's a consolation. And uh, I, I understand a lot of opinions that go around such as, oh, well, you know, you quit, uh, you got scared, you were defeated, uh, the whole nine yards. I understand the true people, especially African-Americans who want you to continue. Because yes. They have, like I thought the same thing, recognize yeah. that this is not offensive to us at all. Right, right. This yeah. is not offensive. Yes. But right. of course you have those, even of my own race, who want it all. Okay, yes. you know, no blackface at all. Right. None. Don't right. ever, okay, dress up yes. as us again. Don't and, do it. And Mark, it even goes further. Is the thing is is um it's it's at the point where because even though I did it, whether it was 10 or 20 years ago, is there are theaters out there, unfortunately, that uh, will not even have us. And they said, you are the epitome of racism just because you did it. And I, I don't understand that, so. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah. Um, I, I understand impersonation, unfortunately. Uh, my people have been victimized more Yes. Uh, with, with those portrayals yes. than vice versa. Yes. You know, if yes. I were to go on stage as Elton John, people wouldn't give a damn. I could put on a wig, I could put on the glasses. <laughs> I have absolutely no talent, so I, I'm, I'm destined to fail. Yes. Uh, but yes. they wouldn't look at me as, oh, look, they're, they're, yes. that guy. Uh, I, of course, I wouldn't put on you know white makeup. Right, yes. Well, we, well, we, we, can, we can go to, uh, Eddie Murray, when he was doing uh, yeah. Eddie Murphy, I'm sorry, I said Eddie Murray. Eddie Murphy, when yeah. he was doing Coming to America, right, and all the various betrayals that he had in the barbershop. So yeah. he did a Jewish guy. Yeah. He's no yeah. one on Saturday yeah. Night Live for doing a Jewish guy well, right down. Well, the Goldberg makeup. did it in The Associate as well. She became a white man. Yeah, really, I never saw that, but yeah. no, that, that's yeah. interesting yeah. to know. Yeah. yeah, right. So I, I can understand understand how this could be a double sided sword, and, and, and yeah. how somebody is going to get cut along yeah. the way. Uh, on an, an interesting note, uh, when I'm thinking about it, is when Fox in mm -hmm. Louisiana uh, and uh, it was uh, uh, did did the huge. It was a six episode special, and the thing is, and uh, uh, on blackface, it was uh, a six, uh, on yeah, blackface on blackface. Gotcha. They, okay. came, they came to Vegas. They filmed the show because Red Fox's wife and daughter was there, as well as a few other. African uh, Americans that are, are 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 big in Vegas, okay. and uh, they went ahead and went before the cameras and said, "This is the most amazing thing. This is not blackface. It's not uh, right." And and everybody was on my side. And the overall um, Facebook uh, posts in Louisiana and Mississippi and all of that was, "Why are you wasting our time with this? This is not blackface." do something that we're interested in. They, they weren't even interested in, in the story. Right. It, I, you know, I, like, like I say in my industry, the, well, I, I think everybody says it, that uh, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. So, right. you know, if you're going to protest and, and you're going to go up in arms saying, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I'm offended. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, the courts, uh, the legal system have to listen. Yes. Um, otherwise, that's going to just bring up a bigger stink. Yes. Uh, so I, I, I applaud you on your decision. Thank you. Uh, but I'm disappointed that I won't see these characters again. And, and, and I, I'm disappointed too because what, when I tell you <clears throat> is when I came out as these characters, oh my gosh, I mean, the applause and the standing ovations that I got 
were unbelievable. And these are places, I mean, we did it in New York. We did it in LA, the standing ovations. And even in the height of it, I did it at the Broadway Theater right outside Manhattan. And I even told the owner of, of the theater, I said, you know, I won't do Lionel Richie, you know, if you don't want it. And he said, you're doing Lionel Richie. He said, the African co community in New York has literally made it very clear. That's who they're going to see. I see, yeah. Yeah. So. Well, it's interesting too, <clears throat> Mark, as a side note, um, as we kind of leave this topic and go on to something else, you know, sure. it wasn't very far um, in the past where it, the tables were turned. And when we started in the business, <clears throat> people got offended that I got dressed up as a female and would not come to our show. And a lot of cases would not book us because I was a man that happened to dress up as a female and they found that offensive. So it's interesting how things change. <coughs> and now, what I do because of RuPaul's Drag Race and everything like that is right. much more accepted now. It's okay what I'm doing now, yet 20, 30 years ago, it wasn't. Can it was I ask you, can I ask you uh, in what part of the country, our country here, um, where that was not accepted for you to be dressing up as a woman? Right here in Rhode Island. Yeah. Wow. And in Massachusetts. And Massachusetts. We, right. we performed at a place just right down the street years ago. And after the show, we were literally thrown, thrown out. out. We were staying there. We had a room there. Yeah, a room and there. the owner had said, you are not welcome here. And yeah. they literally threw us out on the street at yeah. one o'clock in the morning. Yeah, so, so amazing. escorted us off yeah. prem, prem premises. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's, that. And how long ago was that, Mass? That was 20, probably uh, 20. Yeah, about 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Yeah, still 20th century, I think, uh, yeah. 20 years ago. So, yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> we had yeah, so many people that when we were trying to get into legit theaters, their response was, I'm sorry, but we don't book those kinds of shows here. Yeah. 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 It, it, it's amazing what uh, we go through in our lifestyle, yeah. in our life, in our lives, in our yeah. lives. Yeah. And yeah. it's hard to actually, we, we can explain until we get blue in the face of, you know, what it was like, but you'll never get the true feeling of what it truly is mm -hmm. um, when you walk in our shoes because yeah. it's the most humiliating uh, thing you could ever. Or, or even here, yes, yeah, uh, from anyone. So um, <clears throat> that's good. Well, uh, I'm sorry that we're going to miss this guy. Um, uh, yeah, you know, it, it's just incredible what you guys perform. Yeah, uh, uh, in terms of this. So once again, anyone that's watching the show right now, if you have any questions, go ahead and pop it in. Uh, go ahead and type it in. I'll find it. I'll see it. Okay. So not new, new. We've already had this discussion. Yeah, I've actually never seen you perform her. Oh, sorry, yeah. Dion? Never saw you perform it. No, because so, it wasn't, it, or did I? Yes. Yes, you, you, you know what? You, you, did. you did. A matter of fact. It was at the St. Denny Theater in, in Montreal. That was when I premiered Celine Dion. Yes. It was that night that yes. you really? were there. Okay, yes. I guess. Yes, yes, I know, because it's that damn Titanic song you sang. Yes. So you're right. Yes. So, yeah. Oh, my God. Right <laughs> I and he that. did the prayer as Andre Bocelli yeah. and Celine Dion. Yeah. And uh, it's very interesting because Malcolm mm -hmm. came and he saw the first part of the show. And yeah. then at intermission, he left. I think then, I remember that. Yes, then the did. next yes. night, he yes. came back and he saw the entire show because the yes, uh, I know that too. Because he had to do a uh, interview with um, with Stewart and uh, and Shatner. And Shatner. Right. And, and, right. And, and, and and he and, left. And he <laughs> left. Well, during during yeah, the middle. Yes, he he yeah. left in the middle. And Stu and Joe was like, "Where are you going?" He says, "I'm going to go see the best show I've ever seen called The Edwards Twins." You guys need to get off your butts. And, and uh, Patrick and Shatner, they were beside themselves. Oh, my God. And obviously, uh, well, when did uh, when did Bill see it? No, no they, Bill didn't see they it. They were supposed, they to, were come. supposed to come they to see it. They were supposed to come and see it. They were all set. And Patrick um, had just got in. He was ex extremely tired. So they just decided to go out to dinner instead. Wow. Yeah. See, I, I love this show. I, I just absolutely love this yeah. show. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Suzanne is saying something here. Let me put it up on the screen. She says, I'm proud that I was able to see those characters. Thanks for sharing them with us. I'll miss them at the next show. Yeah. Yeah, 
I agree. I think these characters that you, you do, but um, yeah, that's, that's that's absolutely amazing how you know we've crossed paths and and um, I, I saw your show with Heike. It was in the Bahamas. Yeah, yes, in, in, the the Bahamas. Bahamas. in the Bahamas. It was in the Bahamas yeah. is where oh, we saw it. That's, that's right. right. Yes. That's right. Yeah, that's that was right. We were we we were on a cruise ship. I think you you. Yeah. Yes. Guys were performing in the Bahamas and we're yes. like, wait a minute, my boys are here. There we go. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> I forgot that about that. that right. We got off the ship, we took yeah. a cab, went across the island, and we yeah. found you. It was unbelievable. Yes, that's right. Oh you, had, you had you had tickets right. waiting for us. It was great seats and, and it was a great show. Oh my so. God. We had we had such a, a great time. I don't know if we had a chance to take you out to dinner or not. I don't I don't remember. No, because you were on the I, cruise and you were leaving the next day. Uh, yeah, okay. That's right. That's right. Yeah, if it was Bahamas, that's only like a few hours uh, turnaround, 12 hour turnaround time, at least at least that. But that, that oh my God, that's unbelievable. Well, we talked about <clears throat> um, <clears throat> your African American characters that you portray. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we talked about two new characters that you had told us that you, you're doing. We're putting together. That's what I want. Yeah. <laughs> I tell we're, you. we're putting together. Uh, the Edwards twins go 70s. And the theme is going to be the 70s. Eddie's going to be doing Olivia Newton-John. I'm going to come out um, as the John Travolta part to do uh, uh, um, um, a, a, um, a song. From Greece, from Greece. Summer, no, yeah. Summer Loving. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, no, the last one. Um, you're the one that I want. You're, you're the one that I want. Are you getting in the tight? Yes, black? I am. Yes. Yes, okay, I okay, am. Okay, okay, look, look, Tight look, leather look. pants. Okay, look, guys, you're confusing me. Okay, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just letting you know I don't like the feelings that I'm having. Okay, <laughs> when I see you guys, you guys, listen to me. When I see you people, yeah, okay, you're right. Mark, it's, people. it's Mark, one hundred percent normal. Right, Mark, 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 it's called a confused heart on. Is, is that what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but mine is like a a. a, a um, what do you call those things? Uh, things that find water? Biscuit? No, they find, they find water. <laughs> the, the piece of wood that you use to find water. Oh, yes, right. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Divining, divining rod, I think. Divining rod? Dividing, dividing rod, rod. yes. Well, <laughs> it's pointing in your direction. I'm just letting you know. So I love it. And I love it. Love my, it. my new new character, again, okay. I, I don't know because, you know, we're still doing the makeup and the wigs and all this stuff. It's yeah. going to be it's gonna be Tom Jones. Oh, oh, oh. Darn it. I ha hold on, hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. All right. Oh. Nope. Nope. Damn it. Yeah. I, uh, because. Where? Because. Uh, I think, uh, oh, there it is. Oh, back, 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 back up. There it is. There, there it is. There you are. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. He's still alive. Exactly. Yes, because when we met him, he had asked, well, do you do me? I says, I do your voice, but I haven't got the, the makeup down. He said, well, get on well with it. And, so, and, so here, here, and here we go. Oh, my God. That's unbelievable. Tom Here, Jones. Here's a sneak peek, if you can see, of me as a living Newton-John. Now, angle that a little left or right. Yeah. Get the glare off of it. Yeah. Just a little. Oh, I see. That's still a bright picture, but I see it. Yes. Oh, that's better. That's better. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Say, keep that shot. Hold on. All right. So you're doing physical and the yeah, other one is Grease song. Okay. All right. Well, wait a minute. That's a leotard bit too. Let's get physical. That's right. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, Absolutely. For God's sakes, man. That's just so. Yeah. Oh, and, oh. and you know, uh, Mark, we're, we're, we're taking this time. Yeah. Be able, I mean, we're still performing, but we're, we're really taking this time to work on new projects to be able to um, uh, uh, be able, and also uh, Cooper, you know, uh, J Jordan, he is yeah. literally booking us. I mean, he's booking us at about five theaters a day uh, for 2021. So, wow. uh, and we're going to oh be- Oh my God, how are you going to do that? Uh, you know what, Cooper's uh, Cooper's amazing. Well, yeah. listen, before all this went on, we were doing 300 shows a year. 300 shows a year. Yep. Unbelievable. So tell me about the drive-in show. How is that being put together? So well, the, yes. Now, the thing is, is so you have big stars like uh, Billy Gilman. Uh, a lot of the big stars are doing these drive-ins. Garth Brooks. Yeah. Ga Garth yeah, Brooks. I saw the Garth Brooks. Exactly, yes. Yeah. And so the thing is, is so uh, it's no different than a regular show. It's just outside. It's on yeah. your FM radio. 
Okay. Uh, social right. distancing for, for, for and there's distancing. a stage in front of the screen and they also project you on the screen. On the screen. Wow, well, a concession stand might bomb because I bring my own food. Right. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look. I, go to, I go to Boston Market, I'd have rotisserie chicken. Oh, I'd, wave, I'd wave a freaking drum drumstick. <laughs> <laughs> I'd come up to the car as Lady Gaga and ask if you wanted any blue cheese. <laughs> oh my God. No, then, then I go, no, I'll just peel the meat right off your body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is unbelievable. So, okay. So you're you're dead in the water for 2020. Nothing's happening before 21. Right? Oh no, no, no. no. We oh, have, oh well, oh like, yeah, we have shows. Oh sure. Yeah. Oh, oh, like, oh yes. Where are you where are you <laughs> here? Tell me everybody. I'm thinking that from now to the end of the year, we must have 30, 30 shows. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Are and you doing anything? Ended, we just ended a tour in Florida. Yeah, where well, we did 10 yeah. shows. Well, well, where it was the height of the height of, of the COVID. Uh, of we the, were outperforming. We were outperforming, but everything was social distancing. Right. Everything okay. Was safe. Yeah. Everything was masks. And when right. I tell you, Mark, these people were in tears because there was such a depression. And we went in, we entertained them, we brought light. And let me tell you, people were in tears for the entire yeah. time. And I'm they sure. were so grateful. Because I, 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 I can imagine, because I'm bored silly as it is. Like yeah. I said, I go work home, work home, yeah. take you to the grocery store when I have to, then back yeah. home. Yeah. That's basically it. We can't go to any theme parks. Right. No. Yeah. I, know, I know movie theaters are reopening, but I'm not right. confident that I'm going to step foot in one. Right. Until exactly. Yeah. One. Yeah. You well, know, also, so. online things are really big. That's why we decided, you know, you, you have to realize it took us a year to edit this Singapore show because we wanted it to be more than spe spectacular. Sure. And so when people see this, they're going to be absolutely dumbfounded. I mean, it's even better than going to a live performance because of the production of the dancers, which we've never been with dancers ever. And, and there's actually these type of dancers, yes. these dancers, they flew in from all over the world. From Australia, yeah. from uh, Thailand, from, Hong from Kong. Japan, yeah. all, all over. Yeah. So this was obviously pre-COVID then when you did. Yeah. When you yeah. Did. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you had a full, you had a full theater. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. We, we performed there for, uh, for a week. A week. We, we had like seven sold out shows. Wow. That and it's pay-per-view September 6th. Yes, exactly. Yeah, they can go to our our, we our website, theedwardstwins.com, to see. Uh, and uh, and right there on the first page, they can click and buy. That's great, because it should be uh, a good sell, because that is Labor Day weekend. Yes, absolutely. You know, so and, and, and they had their choice to watch it for an entire month or whenever they want. Wow, well, I'm definitely going to buy one. I'm definitely going to go ahead and, and sit. It, in front it'll of be, I'm telling you, and I'm not... Because we don't make hardly anything on it, but I'm telling you right now, it's the best show that you will ever see. Yes. Well, I mean, it should bring you a lot of offers. It should bring you additional offers for 2122. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, I mean, after after paying your ASCAP fees and uh, you know, and production and all that stuff, there's just no no money to be made. But we're doing it more just to just to get the the word out. Sure, and and sure. To be able, you know, so that people see it, and yeah, you're absolutely yeah. right. But but okay. anyway, th this tour that Cooper is putting together, it's Ohio, Michigan, Alabama, Texas. I mean, we're going to be all, all over Texas. Oh my God, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're, yeah, I mean, we are, we're everywhere. I mean, look under your bed; we're probably there. Okay, I, I hear you now. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys are not slowing down. I am so proud of you. I'm so happy that I know Thank you. you. I, I, I'm just ecstatic. I'm not going to hold you too much longer, but as uh, that's all right. We love it. Oh my God! Any to see uh, what what's what's I keep saying? Country in, me in country me in country oh. me in. Wonder, wait, are you going overseas anytime soon? I know we got the band. No. As, the, as of now, no, no, no. Yeah. We, we, we are just about ready to possibly close a big deal. I'm not going to say where or when, but when it happens, Mark, it will be the biggest uh, thing we've done in our entire career. And the doors will be, I mean, we'll be set for, for life, but you know, well, let's see what happens. Wow. I can just imagine you and you guys in Australia. Oh yeah, oh, yes. Huge. I can imagine you guys in Australia. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God, that'd be great. Suzanne saying Washington, Oregon. 
It says, uh, do, you, do you do Washington and yeah, Oregon? The thing is, is uh, we're, we're, we're looking at possibly, because we're going to be at Michael Feinstein's place in, uh, I think, uh, 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 May. And then uh, during May, we're doing Colorado. And then we're looking to do Portland, Oregon, hopefully. Wow. That's, 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 that's I, I, you know, guys, I, I don't know. I think this is probably the biggest stars I've had on my show. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh without a I, doubt. I, I if, that, yeah. if, if not that, the most talented. Anybody can read a script. <laughs> okay. And I know some of my, my, my sci fi friends or whatever cannot sing. So, you guys. <laughs> Listen, 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 you, you need to get Brent to, go, to come on and sing. I was he's, just with him, but yes, he has a great voice. He's oh, my God, he's a great he's voice. He's fabulous. Yeah. Back in the Next Generation days, old Blue right. Eyes is back. He put right. out a, a, a listen. Picture. I think, I think personally, uh, and I'm sure Brent would be up to it. We need to have him join our act, and we could go ahead and dress him up as a woman and name the show Two Fags and a Hag." <laughs> 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 oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. He would love that. He would, he would love, love it. it. He'd be in all of his glory. I don't know if we mentioned this or not, but what woman, what hag would you dress him up as? Oh, oh my god, there's tons. There's tons. Please. Listen, he he's a hag. He doesn't have to look like anybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, I mean, oh my god, yeah. Tight sequin. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Let me tell I know Brent, he would love it. Yeah, 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 yeah. The gown's got to really plunge down in the back. Absolutely. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 And listen, I'd show him my tucky method, he'd be all set. <laughs> <laughs> and no, if he turned around, he might hit me in the eye. You know? <laughs> No, because he actually ties his to his bra strap. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that is, oh my God, that's freaking up. I'm just, uh, what other question I have for you guys? Hey, um, excuse me if I get this wrong because I got no information. How's your mom? Oh, mom is great. Mom is great. Mom is she great. Is As a matter of fact, yes, she, yes. she should oh. be watching. Yeah, she should be watching. She's not good at typing things or whatever. So she's probably watching. I did actually tell her that we were going to actually do it. But oh. everybody always asked about mom. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Was yeah. Mom. She was in Montreal, of yes. course, you know. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's when I met her. Um, yeah. I think she, I met her there. I, went, I came backstage, right? You yeah, did. Yeah, you yes. came and, and also the uh, dinner with uh, with Malcolm. Oh, she, was there. Oh, she was there as well. Yeah. 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 Is, you know, that is, was that was such an amazing uh I mean everything about it was amazing. But to be able to literally be sitting right across from Malcolm McDowell, Malcolm who is McDowell. who is a, a, a living legend. A, a living, like, a living plus, legend. All of the all the Shatner stories that he told us <laughs> that could never be real repeated is was worth it all. The interesting thing about going out to dinner with our celebrity friends, you can never tell this stuff to an audience. Never, <laughs> never, never. But you know what? I don't think people would even believe it. Yeah. Well, you know what? After people keep trying to get me to write a book. I said, I can't. Yeah. It's still alive. <laughs> yes, yes, I, yes, thank you. Exactly. Write it and then have it published once you die. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a lawyer, you know, and they say, hey, make sure my mother or somebody in my family gets all yeah. this money and make sure yeah. everybody, I don't care if they're, if yeah. they're still alive. I, I will I will tell you a story kind of on a negative note that I really uh -oh. broke, broke my heart. Is when, 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 uh, when Brent had asked, um, when Brent had asked, um, uh, Will Whedon? Will Whedon. Will Whedon. Yeah. Uh, uh, who we absolutely who, adore. Who? Who, who we absolutely adore when Will, when, and, and this is coming from, this is coming from Brent, had asked Will uh, to uh, take a picture with Will with us. Will would not. He absolutely refused. He said, no, I'm not was, interested. Go was there any, any reason? Uh, did Brent give you any reason? His uh, version at least? Brent was beside himself. Brent was, Brent oh. was actually embarrassed. Brent yeah. was, was embarrassed. Yeah. So I have to say, okay. uh, as a fan, I was so hurt by, by that, because did he know? Did Will know who you you two yes. were? Oh yes, oh yeah. Brent yeah. went did went, went into everything, and uh, the thing is, is and, and Will was like, no, I'm not, I'm not interested. Please leave. Yeah. Well, you know, there's some. I, I'm not making any excuse whatsoever. Oh, I'm yeah. just I, I've been in situations where people wouldn't shake my hand. 
Right. Okay. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would say ninety nine point five percent of my clients are white. Yes. Okay? Right. And, uh, they hear me on the phone first, then they show up. If you yeah. get my drift. Yeah. yeah. So right. Gotcha. Gotcha. I, 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 so, I'm not, so I'm not making any excuses for Will, yeah. but some yeah. some people's ideologies you don't know sure. until you have a, had a sit down. With them. Yes. Right. And, and you kind of yeah. feel them out, and you yeah. kind of sniff the air. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Whatever topic they just moved into. Yeah. Yes. Sometimes sometimes you get an awakening. You know, you go, oh, right. Exactly. You know, so right. I have no idea. Right. Now, yeah. I use. I, I'm, I'm, listen, we love Will, and he's done an amazing job on the Picard thing. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, I just, I can congratulate him for that. Sure. But, you know, it's like the thing your is. Your fans it, come first. Your, that's, well, your, that's your, your, your fans come first. And I try to tell people sometimes, you know, yeah. uh, be careful of the heroes that you pick. Right. Yes. Okay. You, 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 you only are in love with their character. Okay, you know nothing about the real person. So yeah, that's gotta, right. That's right. Right. Exactly. Gotta be and careful and it wasn't sure. so much even the picture, it was his attitude yeah. uh, of even saying hello to us or, or well, it was like hi. we had cooties. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, I, like I said, ideologies, I have no idea on that. And I used to juggle with Will and his family in front of his house at night under a, a lamppost. Yeah. I, that's how well I knew his family. Okay, sure. I was in LA. I'd go yeah. and visit them and, wow. and, and yeah. we'd hang out in the street and whatever. Wow. But yeah. I never, his mom and dad are incredible. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and good. good. That's I, good to hear. I think I knew Will when he was probably 15, when he was first oh, on God. TNG or whatever. And, yeah. Yeah, I, you know, you, you, you can't pick your family. But, yes. you know, yeah. 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 I think, you know what? It could very well be he was just having a, a bad day, too. You know? It could be, could be, because you know, amongst fans, and he doesn't really like doing convention. Yeah, okay. To be honest, sure. Sure. Okay. Um, he has, uh, yeah. but he really doesn't like. I, I really think there's a phobia, and I think I read or I knew that he is. He does suffer from something. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, some sort. Of, uh, I can't. I don't know. You know, a closeness to people. Right. Sure. Exactly. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, let me ask you guys this. Okay. It's, it's it's this when when you look at somebody uh, and just love it. It just yeah. kind of pops your bubble and destroys the, the whole sure. image, and you know. Or, it's, um, we 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 all know Shatner. You know, you're the oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shatner yeah. Will, and uh, even at his age, yeah. you know, he 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 can insult you, and you'll still love it. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Listen, you know, yeah. you, I don't know if I don't know. A matter of fact, you weren't there, but you know, we were in charge of all of the actors uh, in Boston because Gary um, was having. He recruited you. Yes, exactly yeah. right. Exactly, and 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 let, let me tell you something. We we became so close to the next generation, uh, yeah. uh, you know, as well as um, you know. Uh, was uh, Marina uh, there? Marina, Marina would love you to death. Oh was my God, yeah. we, we love her. Yeah. We absolutely loved her. Yeah. I mean, yeah. and, and Jonathan and, and Jonathan and Jeannie and, 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 and huge fan. Yeah, huge fan. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, you you did you did actually show it. Of, yes, I did, and I'm, I'm going to show it. Again. And Jonathan, yes, and uh, <coughs> yeah, there, 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 yeah, there we go. That was that was a great night. Yes. That was when they 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 saw us. Yes, exactly. in the show. I know. this was in yeah. Lake Forest, California. This was at one of the auctions. Yes, yes, it was. It was. Yes. The yeah, the auction that we performed at. Yes, right, the auction yeah. that you performed at yeah. because uh, I, I took pictures with Jonathan and, and Jeannie as well, and yeah, and uh, of course, Lavar, we all know. Yeah, and, of course. And, Lavar's, and, and Lavar Lavar is, is the best. He's a legend. He's yeah, a legend. You know what? It's it's so funny because when we were talking to L Lavar uh, in Boston, you know, we were in charge of, of taking care of him, and I don't remember he made some sort of. Uh, oh yeah, he had one. He had says he said, "How do you end up dressing up? You know, in that share outfit?" And we were like, "Well, it's the same. It's the same character that that you know, that, that, that you that played, you played on, Roots. on Roots. Kuta, Kuta can King gay." gay. <laughs> he, he he lost he, it. He, he, he absolutely lost, 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 lost it. it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yes. Oh my god. That is that is absolutely yeah, phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, makeup time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, as I switch these screens around to try to get them. Uh, makeup time. All right. Um, obviously, it's longer to put on the facial makeup than it is to put on the dresses and the prosthetics and. Yep. You know, tying yourself off, shall I say, and, and things of that nature. So, um, 
How long does it take for facial makeup first? It, it takes me three hours. Okay, which three character? Hours just to be able, usually what I do is I paint for Cher because Cher is the hardest makeup for me to do because my face is not like Cher at all. Right. Maybe the right. old Cher, but not the new Cher, <laughs> you know. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so I paint my face for Cher and then I alter it for all the rest of my characters. Okay, so, so that's your base, your base is Cher. My, my base is Cher, just because it's, um, her face is so unlike my face. Yeah. So that's who I actually paint for. Takes me three, three, three hours. Okay. Um, and then I alter my makeup from one to another. Now you have to realize I have to go from, let's say from Cher to Barbara Streisand in literally 10 minutes, because he's on stage for yeah. 10, for 10, 10. Right, I know how you guys uh, alternate, but then when you're out on Stage together for Sunny and Cher. That's a different story, right? Right. Right. Yes. Yes. Now, yeah. I now I will tell you the uh, the the positive thing about not doing Stevie Wonder and and all the African Americans is, yeah, it's, uh, is right is you know yeah. going ahead because that was I, I literally had to block out my entire hair for Stevie Wonder with a putty right. and a wax. I mean that alone took an hour and a half, and then I needed to apply all of the the other stuff. So right. I have to say it's a relief, but. When I'm doing Neil Diamond or Tom Jones or one of the other ones, I use face tape to be able to pull all this back like that. You see how that makes yeah. my face look so. So yeah. I, I use face tape and then of course all the shadowing. So on literally on 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 uh, on stage, it looks like I'm digitally enhanced. And uh, and my face is really skinny and and you know. So your playlist is based on. Who's easier to prepare first? Am I saying that right? Um, no, no. It's, it's actually the most difficult. Then we add oh, or take away from what yes, we you take away, you scale back on as yeah. each performance. Wow, it's such a process. I don't know how long it took you to get those procedures down pat. And well, you know what? A long time, and we learned from some of the best. And really, to be honest with you, uh, it's so funny because we had asked Michael Westmore when he uh -huh. came to see the show what yeah. he thought, and I was blown away because I use a special thing for my beard for uh, Andrea Bocelli, okay. and he and he said, "Wait, hold it! How are you doing that?" He said, "I've never <laughs> seen anything like that in my life." Yeah. This is Michael Westmore, the, 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 the best makeup the artist in the world. world. Yes, I was, yes. I was yeah. blown away. So, if you can impress him, you know you're doing yeah, something exactly. right. Exactly right. Oh my god, that, that's unbelievable. Okay, so that's makeup. Okay, yeah. now comes. Well, wait a minute. I need to get to you, Anthony. Right. Okay. I, well, I've already. Asked, I mean, I mean. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Put Anthony. your name to this, please. Anthony. Um, yeah. Um, Makeup. So it's the same process. It's the same makeup process. It's, basically it's the same makeup process. But it, process. it yeah. takes him usually, if he's not doing black character, an uh, hour. You know, an hour. An, okay. an hour to be able to, yeah, absolutely. Plus, again, all the dentures. We have custom made dent, dent, dentures. For every character. For, uh, you know, we have our, our, our hair pieces are custom made. And a lot of them are, um, you know, are, are tailored very expensive. Yeah. And I mean, you, they, they, these are just not wigs that you buy. I mean, the right. thing, you can't. Are, you yeah. have to have that, right. you know, right. custom made. Because the people that come see us are the celebrities. I mean, these are people that they want the best. They don't want, you know, a, a cheap show. You know, they want to be able to look and say, wow. I mean, that's the thing. We're illusionists. We're yeah. making you believe something that's not real, really there. And that takes a lot of money. I mean, alone, we probably spend close to a hundred thousand dollars just in wigs and makeup uh, uh, and a costumes year. a year. That's unbelievable. Yeah. I, I, I just can't. And of course, I've never actually seen your support team. I think I've only seen you right. two. Right. We don't yeah. really have, I mean, well, I mean, when we're on the road, we don't have a support team. We just have three people that travel with us that sets up the equipment yeah. And, yeah. and all this stuff. But we, we do all we do, our own makeup. We and, do our and, own yeah. makeup, our own hair, everything. Yeah, exactly, yeah. We do have a hairstylist that we fly in from Billings uh, yeah. and she is amazing. I she's mean, the, she, the best she, ever. She is the, the best. best the best ever. Sure. And, but we're she's only, worked with, with everybody, well, Dolly with, yeah, Parton, yeah. I mean. But we're only Tina able Turner, to get her once a year. So, so we'll, we'll fly her in and she'll spend like two or three weeks you know, uh, doing all of our wigs. Okay, give me a bad experience. Okay. Give me something yeah. that just 
Okay. So, 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 so this is a bad experience that turned into good. Um, the thing is, is I was, um, uh, when the Jersey Boys hit, I really wanted to do Frankie Valley because I thought, you know, he's known by the young kids. He's, he's known by the, the 30 and 40 years old because of Jersey Boys. He's owned by the old people. So I did everything in my could to get all the arrangements, all of the wigs, all the prosthesis, all that stuff. I spent probably about maybe thirty to forty thousand dollars just in costumes and all that stuff. I get dressed up, and it was horrific. I looked horrible. Mm -hmm. So uh, this was wow. probably about maybe twelve years ago. Then yeah. I decide to come back and revisit it, and I decide to do him from his solo career from the eighties. Okay. And yeah, I think I remember him in the AS. Yeah, oh, Grease period. Uh, Grease period. Yes, yes, Greece, exactly. Uh -huh. Grease period. I put it together. I bring it on stage, standing ovations night after night. But I'll tell you something. I was very depressed because I could not end up um, looking like him the first time. Uh, but I was doing them from the wrong era. Now, uh, I also tried Tom Jones as well. It flopped. So now I'm revisiting it. And I'm going to try it one last time, hoping that it'll work. Sorry, I had myself muted. I said, uh, okay, that's interesting. So that's 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 one of yours. That, so that's Anthony. Now uh Eddie. Hey, uh, um, so I think um I actually have been very blessed because there's not that many characters that I have put together where I have failed at. Um and and I, I would say that the character, if I was to have failed from, would be Reba McIntyre. I put together mm -hmm. Reba McIntyre. I looked just like her. Problem was, is that I couldn't get the voice down. Yeah, he's got a twang. I, I, I don't know how it's anybody a very, very, very tough voice to do. And yeah. I just didn't think, I love Reba. I'm one of the biggest Reba McIntyre fans ever. But yeah. I just didn't feel like I was doing her justice. So right. I kind of put it to, to the side. I'll come back and revisit it maybe sometime, you know, in the future. But um, like I said, if I'm not going to do someone justice, I'm just not going to do them. I, we're, we're not about mediocre. We're about perfection. Right. Yeah. And, and a bad experience. <clears throat> we were in Florida. This was at the beginning of our career. We were we were poor, but we were still doing shows trying to, you know, do the best we can, building our career. And we had to literally, during season, hotel rooms are very expensive. So we had to literally um, rent uh, a, um, uh, a garage. A garage. We a were garage. living in, we were in, in someone's in garage. garage. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it was li literally, we had to sleep on air, air, air mattresses. Air mattresses yeah, sure. Right, exactly. But the thing is, it's the only thing that we could afford. One night we were in the middle of watching Law and Order, Order on A and E uh, at two two in the morning. We were in our our underwear, and all of a sudden the door to our garage is thrown uh -huh. open. Okay, thrown open. Five people with AKR or forty sevens came in and had them to our head. Had them to our head and started screaming, "Where is he at? I'll blow your effing head off if you don't tell me where is he at." We were, we were, we were scared. We thought we were, we thought we, were we, we, thought we literally went into law and order. Right. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, we were, it we was, were insane. when I tell you the most horrible experience anyways, long story short, they were the DEA. Oh my God. I'm what sure you had to change your underwear too. Uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Exactly. Oh, yeah. oh my God. It was, so, so. It was horrible. And uh, the thing is, and what had happened was, is one of the people that we were living with had rented um, a trailer outside the door with the number one America's most wanted person and a fugitive and a cop. Killer. And he was living right and outside, right in, outside a trailer, in a trailer. And we had no idea. And, and we had no idea. Yeah. It wasn't until yeah. one of the, uh, uh, you know, I don't know if he was a sergeant or captain, whatever he was. He, uh, his mother, his was mother were, huge, was, were fans of were ours. Fans of ours. Wow. And thank wow. God he, okay. He b believed us that we didn't know any anything thing about it. Wow. But, I'll tell you, but we couldn't sleep for, for weeks. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't. It was, it was frightening. Wow. Frightening. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that, that. <laughs> what city was this in? Where was oh, this Florida. at? Florida. 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 West, West Palm Beach, Florida. West Palm Beach, Florida. Yeah. Oh, and oh it, it just happened to be that he 
had went ahead and escaped, and then he, they, they caught him two days late, later. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I mean, yeah. you can't feel that on stage. Right. <laughs> People so that was a bad experience. That was a very bad experience. Oh, my yeah. God. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Boy, uh, I don't see any questions popping up from anybody. If you guys want to ask uh, the Edward Swins uh, any questions, shoot away. I'm right here because I'm running out of them. I mean, actually, I got a billion and one questions, but, <laughs> but I don't want to hold these guys all night. Uh, we'll give you, give you guys a couple minutes if you have any questions you want to shoot at us. Because there's a delay from what they're seeing. It's about oh, 20, 20 or 30 seconds yep. Yep. Um, afterwards. But uh, So Elton John, obviously, we know that there are three uh, house of errors that you're doing with Elton, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. And also, you know, we're like B B Billy Joel. I just put Billy Joel back back in the show. Uh, oh, good. And, and he's been going over like gangbusters. Uh, I saw you do Bill, uh, Billy Joel. Oh, OK. Yes. I think that was in, in the Bahamas, I think. Yes, in the Bahamas. Yes, it was. Yeah. Yes. I saw you do Billy Joel. Yes. Yes, exactly. And um, the thing is, is uh, we're also looking uh, to, you know, we were really looking forward. We didn't really didn't touch on it, but we were really looking forward to Barbara Eden coming to our show because what we were going to do, Mark, is she was going to re re redo all of the variety shows that she did when she sang with Tom Jones and all the big stars. And we were going to come out and do, as the characters, as the characters that and she characters. actually did duets do, with duets in her with. career. Yes. Oh my God. So is this planned? Is she actually going to attend a, a The thing is, is, as of now, because of, 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 uh, of, of, of COVID, COVID, she, she doesn't house. leave her house. No. She, she just right. she wants to be in sure. her house right. for a say, time. So maybe, maybe in the future sometime. Right. Exactly. Yeah, but that, that would be fantastic. I just saw Andy Griffin episode where she was hired as the uh, the cosmologist. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Yeah. Really? yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. god. Heads were turning then. Oh you yeah. Know? Yeah. yeah. She was she was in, you know, I mean, she could not be touched. Yeah. She did every series, every every uh, variety show. She had a wonderful voice. And, you know, not just that, people don't understand. She is the most wonderful, kindest person you could ever imagine. I didn't have time. I didn't spend any time with her when she was in Atlanta with me. But um, yeah. I did peek in the room and, of course, she was making her money. And, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, she was very cordial and very nice to everyone that came up. So yes. you know, she's she's an amazing right. woman. Yeah. Amazing. Um, uh, um, yeah. um, we were very honored to have her at our show. She came with uh, Lonnie, Lonnie Lonnie Anderson. Anderson. Oh my God! We're, wait a minute. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You have, I think you have you have you, photos. You have uh, photos. Yes. Exactly. Uh, of that. Um, uh, you know, uh, of us with uh, Lonnie. There, there we go. Yeah. There, there, there was there, it. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And she posted that uh, picture. That's unbelievable. And where was this? This was at Vitello's. Yeah. That's in L.A.? Uh, that's, that's in that's L.A. Michael, 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 Michael Feinstein's place. Uh, uh, oh, new, okay. New, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yep. That is, man, I love your jackets, guys. Yeah, yeah thank yeah, you. Thank you. Thank you. I love that pattern in, that, in those jackets. Very unique. Yeah, we have um, uh, the designer that does those jackets or the designer who did all of the costumes for La La Land. Oh, really? Yes. This yeah. was before La La Land, right? Yes, 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 yeah, yeah, wow. yes it was, yep, yep. And uh, just cool. phenomenal. We probably have, I would imagine, I probably have maybe 75 different color sequin jackets uh, that are just um, amazing. I mean, yeah. just, oh my just God. yeah, yeah that, just, that is, yeah. That that, but you can see how well, Barbara, look, this this was taken was five years. Mention. Yes, I was about to mention that. Of course, this is the photo, and we're a little distance away, but it's, it looks like there's not a wrinkle in her skin. Not one no. wrinkle. No. no. And Lon, Lonnie's the, the the exact same way. Yeah, Lonnie looks excellent as well. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Wow, yeah. it's amazing they were both there at the same time for you. I know. Oh, I know. I know. I know. Well, they they arrived. They came together because they're friends. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. You just say that, Michael. And and Michael, Michael Westmore, Westmore was, was in there. the audience. <laughs> <laughs> the <same laughs> yeah. Yeah. What, was he with his oops, was he with his daughter? Um no, his no, wife. No, his wife. His oh. wife, Marion. Oh my god, she with, is yes. the best. And of course, I mean Mackenzie, I absolutely love her to yeah. death. We're 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 real good friends on uh Facebook. I've never yeah. met her before, but uh when we go back to to, to LA, we're we're all gonna have dinner. Well, she hosts that show on sci-fi think on face off. 
Yeah. Oh my god, that was my favorite show ever. Yeah, ever. Yeah. I don't know why they uh, canceled it. It yeah. was the best. That's unbelievable. Okay, yeah. uh, Suzanne says here. Oh, her son. He said Billy was in Lake Forest in, in Las Vegas, where people saw you. That's her son, I think. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. Oh, great. And Billy is her son. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, people that know you, I don't have a number of, uh, right now of people that are watching. I could tell you uh, after the show, but okay, um, okay, yeah. good. Good, um, Mark. Where, yeah. where, where are you residing? Because I knew you were in Orlando. I am. I am north of Orlando. I'm outside. I'm in the suburbs, uh, area called Longwood. Oh my God. Um, yeah, it's the suburbs of Orlando. Orlando is too city high for me, even though I'm a, I come from a big city. Oh good. Um, but I'm in a, a garden. I I have deer walking across my lawn. Oh. I have bear, we have bear problems out here. Oh. And, and not to mention all the gators, but we I got more wild, but it's beautiful here. I just oh my I God. love the four trees. I'm surprised that you haven't, since we are in your area performing every year. Wait, nobody calls me. I mean, we're in Kissimmee. Now, we're, we're in Kissimmee we're in every Kissimmee. year. We're in Orlando. We're, 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 we're doing the Dr. Phillips sense. sense. Well, you know what? There's two brains sitting right next to you. There's two brains there. I know. I know. Okay, well, we'll, yeah, we'll definitely get you there. On your next one, you better. Yes. Go. I mean, Mark, we're in town. Okay, I'm on my way. You know, yes. You need to hear we will. Gary, of course, will be there for sure yeah. as well. But you're not doing Florida anymore this year, right? I know you're no. uh, yes, uh, yes, yes, December. De December. Where? Uh, we're going to be in... Closest um, to you would be Ormond Beach, right? Well, oh, no, that's that's thin driving distance. You're okay, kidding me? Well, I, I know it's... Uh, I don't know if we're doing... I don't know if we're doing Ormond Beach. I know we're doing... We're doing... Um, uh, 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 Mount Dora. Uh, I don't know if you're. If yes, I can get to Mount Dora. Okay. Mount Dora is yes, huge. exactly. And then I know there's uh, some other places in in in, in your area. Uh, I'll, ha I'll have to look. If you go to our, our website, you, yeah, you you can. Oh, you got your, you got your list. Oh, yeah. everything's there. Er er everything. Yeah. All right. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna yeah. find it. For God's sakes, you guys, I miss you guys so much. We oh, miss God. you so we much. You, Mark. I, we miss I, you so much, Mark. I can't believe how long we've known each other. Oh, what kind of shenanigans we got ourselves into? Oh my, my God! God. Oh my God. God. Freaking world-renowned performers, and nobody <laughs> would ever believe that I know you. you know, they, they look at me. They, they Nobody would ever believe we know you. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. I, yeah, right. Sure, you know the Edwards twins. Right? Yeah. Did they, they, they promise to dress you up too? <laughs> no, that's the kind of shenanigans that I'll get. You know, oh, God, but, I um, love it. Oh, another question I wanted to ask you guys: yes. singing lessons. Okay, you, you guys sound fantastic. Thank you. On Thank stage, you. But I understand you also have to break into a variety of different tones and yep. melodies based on the characters that you're doing. Yeah. How do you do that? Well, the thing is, is that a lot of people, you know, uh, impressions is really a science. You have to, first of all, have the right arrangement. We have the best arranger in Las Vegas working for us with all live strings, horns. Uh, uh, he, he was uh, Engelbert Humperdinck's arranger for years. Hmm. Uh, that is so important because people want to hear the way the song was done originally. That's important. Right. Okay. Yeah. right. Now, I hate British. The, I hate British. Right. Yeah. The second is phrasing. You have to phrase the song exactly the way the singer did it. The same as right. the, the recording. The, the same. Everything as the, the has recording. to match up exactly. exactly. Where, where where the person breathes, the tones are another thing that is huge. And it, again, it's a science. Yeah. And the thing is, once you tap into that science, there's really very few people that you can do if you have the range. Well, let me ask you. Let's let's go. If you turn back time, by share. How long did it actually take you to nail it? Oh God, ten years to, to really ten, nail, ten nail years it. Yes. to 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 really 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 nail it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And as I get older, it's interesting. As I get older, it's a little bit more easier now, but it's still, you yeah. know, it still takes some some time. And and yeah. you know what, people, uh, singers know know this, but but the public doesn't know this. Your voice actually gets better with age. Mm -hmm. I, and a lot of people don't don't understand that. I couldn't pull off Bocelli until I was probably in my fifties. Wow. Okay. Um, all right. So you said the phrasing, and of course, you you have a great arranger. I, I totally get that. Yeah. Dance moves. 
your yep. steps. Yep. I mean, it's just so hard to not just sing like that. Yes. Yeah, yes. But you'd have to move like that because you yep. know Cher yep. has a very, yep. very uh, meticulous way, or no, yep. that, that, that's not the right word. Maybe a trademark way of yep. how she prances on stage. The older Cher, okay? Yep. We're yep. back time kind of Cher. Yep. Yep. Um, when you do your Sonny and Cher, of course, all she's doing is just bebopping her lit her hips yep. to the left, to the right, to the right, to the left. You know, yep. that's yep. Yep. right. Right. The, the, we, the, the choreography is very important. Like, I'm going to have to hire a choreographer for Tom Jones because he has. I mean, Tom Jones has so much soul and and movement. Yeah, he he does. He has that British soul because yes. when Tom Jones back in the early days when we were all watching him. It was yeah. all about the hips. It, yes, thank you very much. You're, yeah. you're absolutely right. It was all about the hips. Yes. And you knew almost why the girls were throwing their panties up on the freaking stage. Thank you. Exactly. You know, I oh. think he had better hip action than Elvis. Oh, yes, oh, he yeah. did. And right. I, I, I got to be honest with you, he had a better voice, you know, as far as power. Yeah. His yeah, power. he did um, have a strong voice. Yeah, I, in fact, I can't hit the high pitches, but I think I can sing Tom Jones' song. Yes, yes. You so probably he's, can. In, See, he's in that level. The, the more I study Tom Jones is that, you know, uh, like Elvis, he had passion in his songs. The passion was what it was all about. And the thing is, when you when you get into that passion and sell that song, then that's when it really makes a big difference and the audience buys it. It's like any, anything else, Mark, you have to sell it. You've got to sell each song. Yeah, I'm trying to adjust this song because I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's better so. I just wanted the visuals of you guys performing. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. For those that are watching right now, you're watching the episode. Okay, who's that? Eddie? That's yeah, that's me. Yeah, 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 because it's Barbara. That's okay. Beth. No, that's Beth Midler. No, it's not. That's Beth Midler, not Barbara. That's Beth Midler. Really? Yeah. Does she have hair? I thought Beth was From a distance, Beth Midler. Really? Okay. Yeah. We are looking at the same thing, right? That's Billy Joel's song right now, right? No, that's just him as as himself. That's just, yeah. I do a vocal. Wait a minute. You must be getting the wrong thing we are. I think I am. I yeah. think there's a delay. Somewhere. Okay, that's All right, that's fine. Right. So okay. I see Beth pregnant. I have Beth on it. Okay, right. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So it's it's delay. It's a delay. It's, it's a delay. What, what did you guys see? You see Beth? I see. No, I we're, see. We're singing uh, Anthony doing Rod Stewart. Yeah. Now, ah. now Cher's, Cher's coming on. Yeah, you're ahead of me then, of what I see. You're yes. ahead of what I see. Yes. All right, so we can't talk about crap. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it all. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the thing is, I do a, a section in, in the show, Mark, where I come out, I do about about 12 different voices. Uh, uh, people. I think that. that's usually towards the end, right? Uh, yes, yes, it yeah. is. Yep. Yeah. When you do all those voices, can you name them all? Or, or oh, oh my God! It's, there's so so many of them. Uh, uh, Rod Stewart, Engelbert Humperdinck, uh, Tina Turner, Ray Charles, Stevie Wonder. Oh my God! Uh, Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog. Oh Kermit right. The Frog. I Neil Young, Elmo. Uh, oh my God. Uh, Dean Martin. Dean Martin. Oh, oh my God! Uh, oh, I can go on and on and on. There's there's there's, there's tons of them. Tons of them. Yeah. Now I'm getting your Sonny and Cher bit right now. Okay, yeah. no, we're we're getting Andre and Barbara. That's yeah. weird because your Sonny and Cher <laughs> that is weird. Because that is not the Cher that was ever with Sonny. No, right. No. No, different Cher. Yeah, different Cher. Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah. Uh, and so, uh, yeah. So, so it's you know, and also another thing, keeping the show fresh is very important. Every time people come back to see our show, it's a different show. It's a it's different never show. never the same show. Right, right. And that's great because that tempts them to buy another ticket. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Know that. That's right. You know, yeah. and, come and back, you, Go ahead. When this picture was uh, taken with Jonathan and Jeannie and, and, and LeVar, yeah. I'll never for, forget, you know, at that place where, where they had all the all the actors lined up signing uh, uh, autographs. Yeah. The, the when, Cher, when Cher came on, all of the actors literally got up from their seats in the middle of autographs. They ran to the stage. I remember that. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> I remember that. Because the, the stage was on the same wall as the signing, so you right. really couldn't 
see the stage on the yes, show. That's exactly. right. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. Right. I remember they came yeah, all yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. Both, both Lavar and Jonathan, their mouths were hanging open. They couldn't <laughs> that, believe it. That was an incredible event. I, yeah. I, I wish Great uh, Gary. Yes, I wish Gary did them again, but uh, he yeah, moved yeah. his whole operations over here in Florida now. Yes, I. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah, I know. Life, which is life, life. And yeah. he loves it. He, he, loves, he loves it. it. There. And and there are rumors. There are rumors. He is opening up an event center. Oh no, I've seen it. In fact, oh. I was going to help design it for him. It was an okay. abandoned building. Yeah. Uh, but I, I was eight weeks out. Okay, so he got another architectural firm, which is fine. I don't yeah. need to work. Yeah. And uh, I've seen uh, some renderings of it. Uh, he showed me on his computer, you know, what, what they're going to do. And it's unbelievable. And oh, I'm my God. Yeah. Too. Uh, yeah. Okay. I, I, I am so happy. I'm so happy. And he's, uh, we're looking at four walling that event center for our shows. Oh, yes. And that's what I was hoping you were thinking. Yeah. You know, so yes. Yeah. I'm definitely, yeah. uh, because, you know, a lot of people don't realize this, but we produce other shows. Like um, we're in the middle of producing a show called An Evening With which is going to be with actors like Shirley Jones, Richard Chamberlain, Robert Wagner, uh, you know, a lot of big stars from yesteryear coming in, showing clips and, and you know, giving stories of their career. And that's that great. Yeah, yeah, and that that's just uh, other shows we do. We also have a, a, a legend show uh, that, that we, we do uh, with impersonators that does uh, Brooks and Dunn. It's a, it's a country, country yes. legend show. A, a country legend show. You know what? A lot of actors I know that would love to have, uh, you know, producing. David Warner, for one. You know, David Warner loves calling everybody darling. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Darling, you know. But uh, David Warner would love to uh, uh, get involved with something like that. That would be great. You know, because we've been looking for actors that would be interested, you know, in in going ahead and being a part of these evenings. Well, I haven't seen Malcolm since we've seen him. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, literally on the screen as well. So I'm, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out what what he's doing. But oh um, my god, yeah. Well, he, I, I'm, I'm supposing he's still living in Santa Barbara, and I'm, I'm assuming Chris, Chris, Chris is, is, still, is still his, still his, his agent, his, his, his manager. Yeah, probably. So yeah, Chris probably is his yeah, agent. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Man, I just love this shot. This is just such a great makeup job. Yeah, you, thank you, you so much, you know, Eddie, Eddie. You did a wonder. Oh my god, I can't. Thank you. I can't. I can't even see a seam on the wig. No, that's a, no. Believe me, when our wig designer is the best, the absolute best. I you mean, look fantastic. But there you go with that damn cleavage. You know what? I'm gonna have to teach you on how to paint and make up in your cleavage. Okay, I mean, <laughs> fabulous. I, I, I may have some um, hands-on knowledge of, yeah. of, <laughs> of getting have of getting it. Have at getting, it. Have getting those boobs right because I'm, I'm I think it's too much separation there, boobs. They, they always say that you're the good hands person. Good hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Uh, uh, Tucson Elvis is suggesting we have to have dinner at Caruso's again when you're oh. in Tucson and you have a show. Here. Oh, that's great. I'm wondering if the Tucson Elvis is my, my good friend. Um, uh, oh my god, why can't I? Th th oh my god, his name es escapes me. Um, uh, Tucson Elvis, announce yourself. Oh, you know what? I'm wondering if it's my friend Joe. If Tucson Elvis is my friend Joe, it, it has to be. Well, you got problems with that because that wasn't the Bob you thought it was. Okay, well, now that's you know right. I know it. I know that's it. right. I know exactly. It. Yeah, I, I know it. Yeah. I know it. But but I think Tucson Elvis is my friend Joe. I think I'm not sure. I I'm I might be wrong. And we yeah. gotta wait a few seconds for him to actually hear that. So, yeah, yeah, know. because the thing yeah. is, is, there's only a few people that we went to um, Caruso's with. Car Caruso's with. Ah, yeah. okay. So he, yeah. he's, a, he's an Elvis impersonator? Uh, you go, well, yeah, he's he's a yeah. singer, and he does Elvis. He does uh, right. a, a, a bunch of uh, other people. But we, we, we went to high school with him, yeah. and he's oh. a, a dear, dear friend. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. great. That's great. Well, hopefully he'll respond, respond uh, quick enough. Because he was from Rincon. Yeah. He, he, he said was he was from, from Rincon. Exactly how it is. It, it, it has it to is. be my, my friend Joe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Now that we got that square, hopefully yeah, there you go. Know, but, we uh, have to know who our fans are and yes, what they do. Right. <laughs> you know, it's 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 wonderful to have you guys. Thank on. you so and much. Thank you, Mark. We, we can go ahead and close this. Up, but I miss you guys so much, and I'm so glad that I've kind of picked up and revisited what you guys been doing, and now I'm yeah. definitely going to stalk you. Go ahead. Let's <laughs> stalk away. Stalk we'll, away. We'll be seeing you in December. 
yes. Lord willing, you know, yeah. uh, if uh, you know, if the places that we're, we're doing are having shows, uh, and uh, the thing is, is and and it'll be great because we'll be able to spend uh, some uh, time uh, yes. In, yes. in your area. Oh, that'd be great. Be great to see you guys spend some time. I wish this thing get its act together somehow. We need to. We need a vaccine. Is basically. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. what? I think it's right around the corner. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it is too. But to bring people out, you know, yeah. even the theme theme parks are suffering. Yes. And you're in outdoors. If you can't fill a theme park, you know, not that you want to or right. they're even trying to. But yes. the fact I just that think people are just really unsure. You know, they're, I agree. They're, they're they're just unsure. That's all. You but, know, and it's funny. It's interesting that you said that because you're absolutely right. Because Anywhere that I go, I still have to go to work. Anywhere that my colleagues go, they still come back to work. Yeah. So it, it can spread just in relation to what we do, where we go for the days that we're not at the office. Yes. You know, so people are a little bit kind of worried. You know, I don't even want to tell uh, my coworkers where, what I'm doing for the weekend because right. I, you know, I might get ostracized. It's like you're oh, going. I know. Where? I know. I know. You're, you're going to be where? Yeah. Right. You know how many exactly. people shows yep. up at that thing? You know, so. Yeah. It, yeah. And, little... and, and you know, I think people would be shocked at how many underground shows that there are going on in America where there are so many people. So and, many and, people. But everything is safe. Yeah, but it, Every, right. Everything is safe. But yeah. the, you know, and, and the thing you is. You don't want to get caught. Right. You exactly. Know, right. Yes. So it, yeah. it's really interesting. And, yeah. and under, underground industry of, of, of entertainment. Uh, of inter there's a huge. lot. There's a lot of it going on. Yep. Exactly. Believe yeah, me, yeah. there's a lot of it yeah, going on. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. 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 And, and the thing is, is that, but I can, I can assure everybody, everybody, everything is extremely safe, yeah. uh, and, and everybody is very professional. And I'm everybody. sure it is. It, I, the common sense people, I'm not worried about. Right. Okay. That, that's not the issue with me at yes. all because yes. my, my people, you know, I, I wear a mask everywhere I go. Yada yep. yada yada. Yeah. Uh, you know, so it's that's common sense. It's people that are practicing. Yeah. It's, yeah. You only you only need one, okay, right. basically yeah. to paint the pool. But so. but but what this whole thing uh, is doing, it's helping. It's making people create outside of the box. Yeah. Like, like one example is I love what America's Got Talent has done in uh, terms yeah. of you know recreating themselves. And make, making it work. I mean, whoever's in charge, and and Nigel Lithgow is a, a friend of ours, uh, and he's one of the producers. Uh, one of the producers with, with Simon. And I don't know if he's uh, for years. He he did America's Got Talent. I don't know if he's okay. Yeah, uh, name sounds uh, familiar. Uh, you know, it's and, and I, I usually do, don't have time to watch TV at, at, at all. But I've been mm -hmm. watching the, this season of America's Got Talent, and they have done a sensational job of yeah. making it enjoyable and recreating themselves. And this is what America needs. And for somebody like Howie, you see that they're all sitting at their own individual yes. table yes. rather than sitting at one table and all yes. four of them or five of them yep. if they have a guest. Exactly. Yep. They're, they're at their own individual tables. Yep. Like, yeah, that's that's social distancing. Yep, exactly. Um, uh, and they're still and and they're still able to perform, but they do it safely. And I love it. It it proves that you know what that you know what it can still happen. We can go out and we can still perform and be safe and you know and still have entertainment. I agree 100%. I mean, I'm not going to the gym because I. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. Um, so that's I, a little risky. That is very risky. And that's what I'm trying to avoid. Anything that's like, oh, I think it'll be okay. Well, right. okay. That, that's a signal for me not to do it because you say right. you think. Exactly. Right. You know, no one knows for certain. Um, Bob's is the world famous mentalist. So they were right. Uh, okay. Hey, Bob, um, it, it's a pleasure to uh, read your mind. I'm uh, so happy that you, you knew these boys, but then again, you knew that. And uh, Susie, Susie says here, I love all of you. Best wishes. Hope to see you all soon. Thank yes. you for being here. We got to get back love to you, Susie. Yeah. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say goodbye to the boys, guys. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish playing this video uh, uh, for the rest of you so you can basically see some of their performances. I don't know how much time is left on it, but it, it should go by pretty quickly. But in the meantime, love you guys. We love you, guys. Yeah. We love you. We'll we'll see you in you. December. Yeah, December, I can't wait. I'm looking <laughs> forward to it now. I get to see my boys again. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> you guys take care. All right? Love you, Mark. Lo love, love you, Mark. Too. Take care. All right. Thank all you. right. Bye. There they yeah. go, guys. When you see Brent, Tell yes. him, tell him to get ready to uh, join our show. 
I, I will. I already know what the title is. I'll, <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure he will love it. Sure he will love it. And we'll throw in LeVar as Kucha King Gay. <laughs> Kucha King Gay. Kucha King Gay. Yeah, he'll love that too. You, you guys are wonderful. Thank you so much for doing 90 minutes, I think you did with me. Almost oh, yeah, two hours. Right. You, did, you did almost two hours. So that's, wow. that's good. Amazing. That's right. great. Yeah. All Thank right. you, guys. Love you, Mark. Lo Love, Love you. you. Okay. Kiss, kiss. See you soon. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. And uh, rest, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm about to pull up the wrong screen here. Of course, that was the Edwards twins. Uh, good friends. We got so much history. Um, they're just fabulous. But I want you to take a look at more of their performances. And uh, when this ends, I guess I'll say good night until another show. I do. Take care. Uh, love you all. Peace. Bye bye. Yeah.